and welcome back to the workshop where today we're looking at this redundant Garmin HUD Plus heads up display and this little ESP32 GPS unit we've built to control it. Right, we're outside. The uh, Garmin is installed back in the car uh, along with the uh, little control box there. Um, it's getting its power straight from the uh, auxiliary circuit so it should come on with the car. Right, let's take it for a little spin and see how we get on. Okay, so that's my car running. Have a little zoom in, I'll show you what the display does. Okay, I'm not quite sure how much vibration we're going to get on this camera and how well it's going to cope. Right, the uh, unit is now paired um, with the control box. Um, the arrow you can see there, that's a compass. We've got speed in miles per hour. Um, we've got the current time, um, which is about quarter to six in the evening. And uh, if it'll focus, no. And there we go, we've got uh, six satellites. So uh, I'm going to zoom out a little. Hopefully you'll still be able to see it. It's a bit low sun this time of evening, but um, we'll see how we get on in a moment. Hopefully I'm going to, uh, obviously there's the compass has now moved. Um, because we're moving it only operates when the vehicle is moving so right we are away there we go we'll just go for a spin round the block just to uh, show you what's doing the script borrows from uh, the old fast gps tracker of uh, old days the ones we used in the motorsport and the mini um, and it borrows from that to get the configure the receiver in runtime. Um, it's got an ISBST routine, so the clock always compensates for British Standard Time. Uh, yeah. Oh, zoom out a little. So there we have it. We're doing 30 miles an hour, near as damn it. Um, the bottom right display is number of satellites in view. We can currently see seven. Um, we need four. If we could drop below four, a little red triangle, warning triangle, appears uh, to the right of the satellite. Satellites in view. There's a gentleman on a bicycle up ahead, and this road's very narrow. We shall give him all the move. Oh, he's just waving me past. What a gentleman. Thank you! Is very narrow around here. So there we go. As you can see, the compass is uh, ooh, working quite well. Accelerate up the hill a little bit, and uh, I'm just going to turn round here somewhere. Oh. That'll be ideal just in here. So we should now see the compass swing 180 degrees. There it goes. It's not bad at all. And uh, we'll go home. That concludes uh, the little demonstration of the uh, Garmin HUD. Return to something useful. There's the gentleman on the bicycle again. Lovely evening. What a beautiful day it's been. Um, when I cut this video together, I think I shall uh, attempt to put in some dash cam footage. The dash cam, um, I think, has also got a GPS receiver in it. I know it's uh, log speed, so yes, no, it has got a GPS receiver in it. So it'll be interesting to compare the U-Blox receiver in, uh, in the heads-up display and the... Um, the unknown receiver in the AZ Dome um, dash cam. Okay, there we go. That'll do for now. Um, yeah. The next project, by the way, uh, we're going to be revisiting um, the Arduino Geiger counter. Um, just because uh, we found it had a shortcoming, uh, which we managed to uh, sort out. Anyway. Do join us for that one very soon. Thanks for watching. There you go. 
the Garmin HUD with the ESP32 uh, controller. Find all the uh, details in the links below, um, links to the code and uh, brief description on the website. Uh, come back really soon because we're revisiting the Arduino Geiger counter, um, as I said earlier. So we'll hopefully get that up in the next few days. Thanks for watching and take care now. Goodbye. Have we got backlight compensation on? Do we need backlight compensation? What is backlight compensation? Who knows? Let's do it one more time. I'm not happy with it. Take 1,583,712. Can you see my hair's actually grown since I started making this video? Some life of the yeah, let's do that again. It's utter garbage, honestly. Keep it simple, stupid. And this G GSP? Well, it's GPS and it's ESP. Get it right. GPS thing. The longer I go on, the worse it gets. <sighs> Hello, and welcome back to the workshop. Today, we're going to be looking at the Giga 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 Garmin HUD Two points for hesitation Garmin redundant redundant so should I be I'm useless Poor sods from PO Ferries anyway Take one gazillion
redundant Garmin. Hello and welcome back to the thing. Still not simple enough I don't think. Is that still recording? Seven minutes in. God almighty. Hello and welcome back to the workshop. Today we're going to be taking a look at this redundant gagagaga. What is it? Said it a million times. Garmin GP GPS. That'll do. Let's stop there for goodness sake. There's about a year's editing in that already.